is Ms. Shannon from the Macedon Public Library. And thank you for joining me for Arts and Crafts today. Today we are going to be making rainbow corn. And we are going to be painting with a bubble wrap to make our rainbow corn for our fall themed activity today. So if you come to the library, we do have a limited supply of little kits that you can take home with a few of the materials that you're going to be needing for this activity. So if you pick up a kit from the library, you will get um, your corn. So we have a piece of paper that's cut out in a corn shape. And then we have two pieces of green paper for our husks of our corn. So these are what's going to be in your kit. And then also you'll get a piece of bubble wrap that you can use for painting. So that is the kit. Anything else that you will need is some paint and some paint and some fall colored um, colors. So I have some yellow, orange, red, and purple that I'm going to be using today. So I'm doing mine fall themed, but if you'd like to pick any other color, that is totally fine. And then we're also going to need a glue stick and then a paintbrush. I have a little sponge brush here. I used this brush on the first one that I made and I thought it worked really well, but a regular paintbrush will work fine as well. And then I recommend just having a piece of paper laid down on your workspace because it can get a little bit messy with the paint on the edges. And then I just used a little paper plate to squirt my paint on that I'm going to be using. And that should be everything you will need. So we can go ahead and get started on our craft. I'm going to point my screen down so you can see what I'm doing. So I have my piece of paper laid out and I am going to get my paint ready. So I have some orange paint. And then some yellow paint. Some purple. And some red. All right, so I have all of my colors ready to go. And now we're going to grab our bubble wrap and I'm going to lay it on my piece of paper and we are going to cover this whole bubble wrap in paint. So you can choose which colors you would like to start with. And we're just gonna do little sections of paint in different colors. I'm going to start with my orange. And again, I'm just going to paint the tops of my bubbles. And I'm just gonna do little sections. I want a good layer of paint, but not too much that it's going to like seep down into the edge, the edges of the little bubbles, because then you'll get just a big blob of paint. I'm just gonna go around with my different colors. I'm just dabbing on my paint into different little areas of my bubble wrap. You can kind of start to see how it's turning out. All right, I think I'm going to go with my yellow next. And I still have a little bit of orange on my paintbrush. Your colors might blend a little bit. You don't rinse your brush in between. But that's all right, because we're making a rainbow corn anyway. All right, and I think I'm going to go with red next.
All right, and then lastly, I'm gonna go in with some purple and fill in any last bubbles that are not covered in paint. All right. I have just a little bit left. I ran out of my purple paint, so I think I'm going to finish off with my yellow. Okay, so my entire bubble wrap is covered in paint, and now we can paint our corn. So we're going to grab our corn shaped piece of paper and I'm going to lay it right on top of my paper and now I'm going to carefully grab my bubble wrap and I'm going to flip it over and I am going to lay it on top of my corn. And then I'm going to press down and transfer the paint onto my corn. Press down real hard and make sure you get all the bubbles. All right. And now we are going to lift up our bubble wrap and see what our corn looks like. You ready? Wow. Look at that. There is our corn. Very exciting. Now you can let this dry for a little bit. And then we are going to attach our husks. I'm going to give this just a minute to dry a little bit. And this can be a great activity for several different ages. Be a good activity to do together. All right, so I'm going to grab my glue stick. Let's see. Get this off to the side just a little bit. My paint is a little bit wet still, but I would recommend just to let your paint dry all the way. I'm going to grab my first husk, and we want to lay this on the bottom edges. So I will hold up my example again. So we have our husk covering the bottom of our corn and then it goes up the side a little bit. We wanna leave the middle empty. I'll put this back down a little bit and then grab my glue and you can decide where you'd like it. And then right on the back, I'm gonna put glue. on the bottom and then a little bit on the edge as well. And then I'll place this right on my corn. Then I'm going to grab my other one and we're going to do the same thing, except on the other side. You can flip your Little green husk over. And we'll give it a try on this side. We have our glue. Again, we want it to cover the bottom and then a little bit up the side. And that is our final product. Tip this up a little bit, and here is our corn. So this is a super fun and easy activity. It can be a little bit messy, <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoy this. And again, we do have some kits here at the library for you to pick up if you're interested in it. So you can come in and get those while they are here. 
And I hope you guys enjoy and have a great time together. And thank you for joining me. We'll see you again soon. Bye.